GeForce Now's latest update introduces a really handy network overlay that you can enable in-game to get some valuable feedback about what's happening with your network in relation to the game. So if you turn that on and you notice that you're only getting one or two bars of signal and they're maybe going back and forth, then there's a good chance that your network is affecting your gameplay. So what do you do about that? Well, there's quite a few things you can look at. Number one, use best practices for your network at home. So make sure that if you're connecting over Wi-Fi that you're using a five gigahertz network. Don't do it on 2.4, it's not gonna be a good experience. Um, if you have ethernet available, that's even better. So both of those options can really elevate your game streaming experience at home. On top of that, make sure that your internet speed meets the minimum requirements for what you're trying to do. So GeForce Now requires 10 megabits per second of download speed just to play at all. And that's at standard definition, pretty critical quality. If you wanna play at 720p, so that steps it up to the bare minimum HD, you need 20 megabits per second of download speed to do that. Now, if you wanna go all the way to the top and have a full HD 1080p experience, they want you to have 50 megabits per second of download speed. And keep in mind that this is what the game will actually consume. So let's say that you only have 50 megabits per second at home, and maybe some other stuff is happening on your network, like the rest of the family is watching a streaming movie or something like that. That's gonna cut into your game speed, and that can affect you. So you can use something like speedtest.net to run a, a test and just see what you're actually getting in real time. Make sure that matches what you're paying for. Talk to your internet company if it's not. Now on top of all that, you can check GeForce Now's status and see if maybe something's happening with their servers. And I'll put a link for that status in the description below and that may be the whole thing. So if they're having trouble, then that's gonna affect you. On top of that, GeForce Now does tend to be um, impacted by peak hours. So if you're trying to play in the evening, late at night, on a weekend, or, or on a weekend for that matter, you may notice that things are slowing down just because a lot of other people are using the service. And just be aware that that may be the whole thing as well. So if everything else checks out, your network looks good at home, your internet speed is good, there's not a status or an outage on their page, then it may just be peak hours and you may want to try again a little bit later. So hopefully these things get you up and running with GeForce Now and give you some resources to have a really good gaming experience. If you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. We do a lot of cloud gaming videos and game streaming videos and FlickStick is your destination for everything related to those subjects. And until next time, you guys have a good one.